What's going on, people? Now, tonight we were supposed to cover some Philly Black Mafia content, but for some reason, YouTube is acting weird. I uploaded the video Wednesday. Here it is Friday, and the video is still not ready. So I contact YouTube support. They email me back. They said they're going to look into it. So we're not going to let that stop it. Tonight, we're going to cover an East New York legend that's so respected to this day, his family could walk in any of the five barrels with their heads high. The true definition of graduating from the streets. Now, and I thought his name was Puerto Rican Jesus, but I guess everyone called him Jesus. But let's get into it. Now, Jesus Valentin started off working at a gas station. Of course, after seeing guys roll up in nice cars with gold watches, chains, he didn't see a future. So he quit and started to hustle. Now, and I know y'all heard the saying, it's not about what you know, it's about who you know. This man right here that goes by the name of Puerto Rican Jesus knew everyone in the streets of New York while also knowing how to move. He was known to be one of the first ones to be seen with the gold Jesus piece, which became popular in the streets and in the hip hop culture. Now in this time period, everyone was getting money. It was hard for some guys to keep their chicks. <laughs> with all the players out touching money, it wasn't even hard to hit a kingpin brawl. Now with him associating himself with everyone, was the smartest thing he could do, as he outlasted other gangsters, associating himself with people from all over. He would know if trouble was coming, and he'll give you the heads up if he liked you enough. He saved guys like A Z, which he knew A Z didn't deserve to pay for what Alpo did, especially having nothing to do with it. But this man is another legend that threw that stuff on him. His fashion was out of this world, always the flies, no matter who stood next to him. So, he was known for his fashion, but he also was known for being solid. Guys loved the way he did business and always kept his word. Even the dirtiest people had respect for him. They had to respect it. Now, he might have been robbed before, but the stick-up kids didn't fear him. It was respect. How he carried it, loyalty is written in all caps on his resume. The streets have no rules, but he was one of the few, one of the very few, that played the game the right way. He ain't have to short anybody. He ain't even have to kill his best friend or steal anything. That's honorable. Word of mouth was very powerful back in the day. No social media at all. You had to go see for yourself. Now there was all smiles when people used to see that powder blue jag outside of a spot called Bentley's. Either that or the side with the rag top. They knew it was him. Now I did hear about John Bloody Hatchet taking one of his blocks that was doing very well with no retaliation. It could have been just a rumor. I wasn't there, but it could have been more to the story. Now, if it did happen, he might have sat back and thought about the outcome of a war. And if you're smart, you know war is bad for business. You're only in the game for one reason, and that is to make money. He might have just fell back and watched John Hatchet take himself out the game. With a nickname like Bloody, I'm pretty sure he was already hot. So avoiding any type of heat keeps you in the game. Now, we've seen a couple of pictures with him and his close friend, Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson and other celebrities enjoyed being around Jesus because he came with his own money. He didn't ask for a handout. Now, you could tell they were homies. And this picture right here, earlier that day, they went to go call some Dapper Dan. Puerto Rican Jesus took the red sweater. And Tyson said, oh, I'm going to just grab the black and we're going to just rock out tonight. Tyson allegedly offered Jesus $1 million to leave the street life. Now, that $1 million ain't nothing compared to the millions you can make off the streets. Now, taking that $1 million and pitting that towards a clean business will be smart. But if you're young getting fast money, the average dope boy doesn't think about the future because the money seems like it's forever. So, you're just in the moment. So, it's easy to say what you would have done at the age of 18 to 22 seeing hundreds of thousands of dollars at that age all you care about is cars dressing nice and women now as a grown man it does sound crazy parking the bins in cypress hill projects and he had mike tyson at cypress hill in the rolls royce they said it was a real life movie back then y'all some say that million dollars to come work for mike tyson wasn't enough some say his ego was too big to work under tyson Puerto Rican Jesus did his jail time and came home without telling. He did his time like a man. 
People say there's no such thing as a retired gangster, but he was living proof. On his last days, he took care of his family and spent time with his friends and stayed low key. He didn't glorify his past life at all. He was so low, you guys probably walked past him a couple of times and didn't even notice. He passed away May of 2021 of natural causes. And just like I said, he outlasted other gangsters for a reason, by just having integrity. Moral of the story is, they don't make them like they used to. I'm out.